Shalom Yashar Allah Shalom Brakathi Yahawa Brakathi Yahweh Shai Brakathi Yahawa Brakathi Yahweh Shai Brakathi Yahawa Brakathi Yahweh Shai Baha Shem Raka Kodash Double honors to the apostles and elders, great Muslim who teach on the Ruel. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hope for the elect, pushing this truth and risking their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. To Brother Shema, from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp, here with another lesson. And I will get right into it through the Spirit. Matthew chapter 6, just some scripture that I was meditating on, you know. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, and it reads, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, right? Treasures, physical currency, trinkets, things that you gather in this world, carnal things. Lay not up. It's all going to fade. Lay, not, lay it not up for yourselves, right? Money, Bitcoin, filthy lucre, digital currency, all of that's going to perish, man. Where moth and rust, salak, where moth and rust doth corrupt, right? It's all corruptible. It will all fade. Right? It will all perish. Right? And where thieves break through and steal, right? Thieves, they can be taken from you. They'll rob you. They'll take your life over it. Right? And this is what two thirds, this is the mindset of two thirds, getting that bag, chasing that bag. Verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, right? That spiritual currency, man. Us in this truth, the hope for the elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. Our eyes is on the kingdom. Our banking is done in the kingdom. Our laying away of treasures is done in the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven, that's what we seek, right? Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? It can't be taken, can't be stolen. And it's incorruptible. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your, your, your heart being your mind. The Hebrew word, for, Hebrew word for heart is lob, your mind. So where your mind is, is where your treasure will be, man. If your mind is on the Mosai, Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai, and the spiritual treasures, that's where your heart, that's where your mind, that's where your mind will be, man. Right? Chasing the bag, caught up in the rat race, worried about if you're gonna lose your 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 your, your plantation, your job. Right? We're not we're not us in this truth, the hopeful elect, we're not we'll get a scripture, second Timothy or first Timothy chapter six, we'll get that next. Right? Our our mind is our our mind is on the most high, Yahweh Shim Shai. We're we're content with daily bread, man. Right? Let's read that again, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, a heart being mine. Right? Let's get that one in uh, Timothy. And we'll close out, Lord willing. I think it's 1 Timothy 6, or is it 2 Timothy 6? 1 Timothy 6. Khan. First Timothy 6 verse 6 and it reads but godliness with contentment is great gain right godliness with contempt with contentment is great gain right being satisfied with godliness is great gain right for we brought nothing into this world we brought nothing in we're born naked come out of our mother's room in this world with nothing right and it is certain we can carry nothing out. We can't take none of these physical riches with us, man. Once again, our eyes is on the kingdom. The hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. Our, our eyes is on the kingdom. Right? Here's the point, verse 8. And having food and raiment, food and clothing, let us be there with content. Right? And that's all, that's all daily bread, man. Right? Daily bread. We're not chasing the bag. We're not after riches. We're not. We're not after four hundred one k. We're not after. We're. We're. We're not after uh, crypto, Bitcoin. Right. 
Right, that's what the Gentiles seek. Right? As a matter of fact, we'll close up with that. First slot. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 31, we'll close out. And it reads, therefore, take no thought, right, us in this truth. We have no thought on whether, how we're going to eat. We trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shemiel Shai. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, right, us in this truth. We're not worried about how we're going to eat. It's in the Lord's hands, right? Or what shall we drink? We're not worried about that neither. It's in the Lord's hands, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? We're not worried about how we're going to clothe ourselves. It's in the Lord's hands. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, right? The Gentiles, these heathen nations, as well as two-thirds of our people, chasing the bag. These are the things that they seek. Physical, carnal trinkets, treasures, right? For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Our Father... Yahweh Bashim Yahushai knows we need these things. So he's going, he's going to deck us out with those things. What we need. Daily bread. Enough to get by. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala. Wa Abad Babal.